what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you this beautiful wig i found on amazon for almost a hundred dollars you guys this is huge okay you have to invest in this wig like look at the color okay look at the material honey let's get into it so i'm starting out with just my bonnet on this is a bonnet from Kendra's boutique a lot of you was asking me on my last tutorial where I got all this head wrap stuff from I just have my wig cap on under and I ordered this wig from Amazon and this is the box it came in it comes from Coon Gang I believe and the wig comes in this plastic bag inside of the box and when you take the wig out you have a wig cap and some lashes which is so nice of the vendor because sometimes you know you don't get wig caps even when you spend like a whole huge chunk of money on wigs like you don't really get wig caps so that's really nice um so this is the wig and i'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag you guys i have no clue what i was complaining about <laughs> this part was so funny i decided to leave it in um but yeah let's continue unboxing so this is the wig it has all of the information about the wig on the bottom of the bag you know the inch um the color i'm gonna take it out and this is what it looks like so I specifically bought this wig of this color and this highlight because I wanted to try it out. I've never tried it before. And as you can see, the wig smells really bad. It just, I don't know what it smells like. What it smells like, I don't know. I can't explain it, but it just, it did not smell good to me, but it was definitely a smell that I was going to be able to get out. Um, I didn't wash this wig at all, just so you guys know, FYI. So this is just me inspecting the lace wig and I'm just looking at the hairline and the color and look at that lace you guys that lace matched my skin perfectly this lace did not come white it came my skin color if you're a darker complexion than me you're obviously gonna have to tint it a little darker um, so yeah so this is my wig cap from my old wig. If you guys haven't seen that tutorial, you can check it out now. But I'm going to leave this wig cap on just because I was just too lazy. And as you can see, it dyed it green, but that's fine. So I'm putting the wig on and I'm going to just see, you know, about the wig and inspect it before I decide what I want to do to it. I'm seeing if like the wig cap even fits my head, what the hairline looks like. The hairline was very harsh um it did not come like plucked or you know look very natural it looks really unnatural um i know there's people out there that like this look personally me i don't like it um but i do like this color i've never done brown i've never done blonde highlights i actually wasn't a fan of brown hair it actually just i don't know why brown hair kind of made me cringe a little bit but i think with the blonde highlights for me it looks really nice. I love brown hair on other people, just not me. So at this moment, I was trying to figure out if I was even gonna see potential in the wig and I decided that I really liked it and I was going to pull up this wig because the hairline just wasn't doing it for me. So I took the wig off and I put the wig on a wig head, wig stand, whatever you like to call it. Um, I got this wig stand from Amazon. Um, but I decided to take some tweezers and start to pluck a little bit. So plucking this hair was, mm, I don't know if I should say it was easy or if it was hard. Um, I can say it was easy, but one thing that I think would have helped is if I bleached the knots. But I'm not good at bleaching because I'm not a professional, so I decided to not do that. And honestly, there's more people out in the world who don't know how to bleach or do their hair. So this is a tutorial for those girls who really don't do their own hair, you know. Um, so I just decided to do the basic steps and that was pluck. And the plucking came out, you know, kind of okay. And I decided to put it on and see what the wig was looking like after I plucked it. And honestly, you guys, it was looking pretty good, okay? For this to be a $100 wig and I didn't bleach the knots and I only plucked it a little bit, it was looking really good. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The plucking was great, but there was some parts that needed to be plucked. 
and you know I'm not a professional plucker or anything like that but behind that first hairline that first those first strands of hair it needed to be plugged it was really dense and really thick I could not get this part to lose the density for my life okay but then again you are talking to some person who is impatient and doesn't know how to pluck so those two things combined i was like i am not doing this but i did try okay as you can see it was really thick um so i did try to just like you know kind of fix that a little bit but it wasn't working too well but the good thing about this wig is that you can pluck somewhat to where it does look natural you know it's not just ridiculously thick and you know you can't get it to look good I just decided not to go further and pluck anymore because I was really impatient and I was over it okay um, so yes I am going to take some scissors and I am going to cut the lace around my ears um, it's really uncomfortable and of course we don't want lace sitting on our ears so that's the first step I do just to make sure the wig is sitting correctly on my head and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I highly advise you to do this part first before you start gluing or cutting any lace. Um, this will really give you some type of comfort. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the scissors and I'm going to cut little flaps in the lace. Um, I accidentally didn't record this part, but as you can see, I just cut little flaps in the lace and I didn't cut it all the way down to the hairline. So now I'm going to take some ghost bond glue and I'm going to kind of smear that, put that right under those flaps where I want my lace wig to stop. Um, so the way I apply lace glue, I apply it where it kind of goes invisible while I'm applying it. So I apply a really thin layer. Do not apply a thick layer because it will take forever to dry and honestly it probably won't dry so your wig will probably be slipping off or doing all kinds of crazy things so i just keep smearing it across my forehead until it's invisible just like i did just now so now i'm checking to see if that glue is dry and if it feels tacky and to me it felt tacky enough so now i'm going to take those lace flaps and i'm going to lay those down um, I like to do the front of my forehead first, putting the uh, glue down and then laying the lace down before I do the sides, just because it just makes me feel a little more comfortable and a little more confident in doing my hair. Um, I don't know, I'm not a professional, so I have to do the things backwards a little bit rather than you know doing it the way professionals do it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the sides and I'm gonna do the same exact technique that I did in the front. I just want to say that I love this song. <laughs> you guys might be hearing this song in a couple more tutorials because this song is everything. I love it. Now, I know you guys see me using my finger to press that lace in, but I just want you guys to know that this is not a good thing to do. <laughs> I'm not a professional, like I said, for the hundredth time. Um, but using your fingers can cause your glue to change colors because you have oil on your hand. But I don't know. I was just kind of winging it. So now I'm going to take an elastic band and I'm going to use that to lay that lace down to make sure that it is secure, okay? And then after like 10 minutes, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to take an eyebrow razor. Um, I do not like to cut my lace with scissors. I like to cut my lace with eyebrow razors because it kind of gives that jagged edge where it will blend into your skin. And I like to use the eyebrow razor with the lace flaps. It makes it so easy to cut where you don't just have to like cut straight across. Like this just makes it like 10 times easier. This is like, I feel like this is like the baby steps of lace wigs. And if it is, I am a proud member of that crew, okay? And this was the moment when I knew I was going to love the wig because it blended into my skin so well, you guys. Look how beautiful that lace is. Like, I can't believe this wig cost a hundred and something dollars and it's this beautiful. Like, I didn't bleach the knots, which is something I probably should have done because it probably would have been way more flawless. But even just for 
this being a wig of a hundred and something dollars and me being you know using a beginner's technique i felt like this was amazing okay so now it's time to style the wig and this is me just checking out the baby hairs i was trying to see if i wanted baby hairs and i really don't feel like the baby hairs would have made this wig look better it would have made it look a little like cheap looking so i don't know i felt like this was like beyonce hair so i decided to leave it without the baby hairs and i'm gonna go on to styling i'm gonna use some bio silk oil and that oil really changed the texture of this wig um the texture was already great you guys i'm not gonna lie the texture was already nice okay it's a hundred dollars it was nice but this wig definitely needed some oil as you can see i was really happy with it um i'm using the kenja's boutique hot comb and this hot comb is so hot like it goes up to 500 degrees and I really needed to lay that down because it was just very, very, it had a lot of volume in it. Um, very thick. So I decided to take some makeup and some bronzer and I had to use that on the scalp part and the middle part because there was no part there. Like, I mean, it is a $100 wig, so that's what happens when a wig is $100. But we could easily fix that with some bronzer or some concealer. Um, I decided to use bronzer first as a trace. And then I went on to using concealer just because sometimes concealer can be a little more bold than bronzer. Um, bronzer is a little more forgiving. So I just decided to use the bronzer as a, a outline. And then I used the concealer. And it made it look... 10 times better like it actually looked like hair so now i'm gonna go on to styling it and styling it was really well um the hair didn't burn i was actually scared about the hair burning because i thought it was gonna just like melt on my curling iron you know maybe it had some synthetic hair but it doesn't you guys this is 100 percent human hair which i'm really really happy about um so i decided to do some waves you know like them beachy waves that the girls the models be wearing so i decided to do that and the hair curled perfectly my curls did fall a little bit after a couple hours but it wasn't anything drastic and crazy and to hold those curls in i decided to use some tresemme hairspray um i could have used some got to be freeze blast even though that's a little more harsh but um being that my curls fell a little bit the freeze blast probably would have kept it intact a little bit more um so I just decided to keep curling and I was really happy with it. Now I'm gonna rate this wig a nine out of 10, you guys. This wig was phenomenal. For it to be a hundred and something dollars and be on Amazon, this was amazing. I was flabbergasted by the color, the details, the, the lace color. I was just shocked by everything. I love it so much. All of the information about this wig is going to be down below. Even the inch that I bought. I bought this wig with my own money. You guys were going crazy on my Instagram asking me for this link. So here it is. If you decide to purchase this wig, make sure you are subscribing to my channel for more future Amazon wigs that I could put you onto, honey. Okay? Thank you guys for watching and I love you. I'll see you in the next one.